I think that he shouldn't be out. Did you know the federal government has a 98.2% conviction rate? Gene Deal just dropped bombshell details about Diddy's bail strategy. If a third of the information that they got, if a third of the information they got is right, he shouldn't be out. And the lengths his legal team is going to for a shot at freedom. What they uncovered could be the key to Diddy's release or the final nail in the coffin. And if that wasn't interesting enough, people are accusing Gene Deal of cutting a deal with Diddy to ease up on his criticism. But after his explosive new interview on the art of dialogue, those rumors may not hold water. What Gene revealed could change the entire narrative surrounding his connection to Diddy. I'm gonna eat, man. You know what I'm saying? Bad boy, biggie, whoever, whatever. If I got a shovel for a living, I'm gonna eat. Yo, I just got some information myself, man, because it was strange to me that every month he's going up for a bail hearing. And I know that that seems strange to a lot of people. But when I spoke to my people over in the courts that I have over there, they told me when people got a lot of money and they got lawyers that can come up with different reasons and different information and present it to the courts that they are able to get how many bail hearings, as long as you got different information to present to the court, different evidence to present to the court that'll help his case or whatever to get bail, they could, they'll they have one every month or every other month or whatever the lawyers present that. So you gotta realize he got a lot of money. He still got a lot of money because he's paying these high profile lawyers to take this case. So in having them to take this case, they're able to construct a lot of information together to make sure that when they go to the courts, they can say, yo, your honor, listen here, this is something that's changed. This is something that's new. This is something that's different. And doing that, that's giving them the opportunity to see can they get them bail. And it looked like he might get bail. Now you're wondering why I'm saying that. See, they are trying to use some of the things that happen to criminals all the time or inmates all the time. They always, brother, they always do those, those, uh, uh, those impromptu searches. And in one of the cases, uh, in, in this particular case, they said that when they did the impromptu search, well, they took some of his legal information and the judge ordered them to give that back. So I guess the lawyers are gonna come up with a couple of new things saying that he can't properly, you know, have his case be properly, uh, what do you call it when um, they client get their, uh, 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 they client, they client and lawyer privileges. He can't be properly, he can't properly do his case with, you understand, with them constantly going in the jail cells, searching him, taking his legal briefs, taking his information, and then probably using this against him. But I, I don't believe none of that to be true. I believe that they went in there just like they do all the other inmates based on the information they had. You got to realize this, bro. They found out that Diddy was using other inmates' phone cards. Now that probably happens all the time. You understand? And he gotta be probably the smartest, dumbest person that I know because he gotta know that those phone calls are being taped. So whatever his lawyers and them come up with, the prosecution's gonna come up with something else. So the judge is gonna wanna know, well, what did they do, you know, when they found out he was in violation of some of this stuff that he was doing. That they charge him with something new. That they um, uh, 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 take some of his privileges away. What has happened in the interim of him doing this stuff that they alleged that he done. So it's going to be a whole forestry of next week. Because what they did was they, they held off whatever the procedures was going to go down today. The judge say he gonna revisit this next week. So I guess, I don't know if it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we'll find out what's going on, but it's gonna be something that I think it may shock the world. Wow, so he might get out.
I think that he shouldn't be out if a third of the information that they got if a third of the information they got is right, he shouldn't be out. But see, this is what people don't understand about the federal government. This is what the people don't understand about the Southern District of New York. When they come and get you, when they decide to lock you up, they already won their case. So all these people out here thinking that they don't have a case and they don't have nothing, you got to understand what they're dealing with, brother. You got to understand what they got. Check this out. Diddy is a multi-millionaire. He's a multi-millionaire. If he wins this case against them, look at all the business that he lost. Look what they made him look like in the public eye. He can bankrupt. <laughs> he, he can bankrupt. They, the the government on lawsuits not really but you know what I'm talking about the thing about it is is this they know they already won their case he's gonna have to plead guilty to something maybe the guns it may be the sex trafficking it may be some stuff they found in the tax evasion it may be charges that we don't even know about, but he's gonna have to plead guilty to something which get them off the hook. You understand what I'm saying? So my whole thing about it is, you gotta realize when the federal government come and get them, when the federal coming government come and get you, they have already won their case. There's very few cases that they lost if they got a 98.2 conviction rate that's the way I see it bro they already got their case they already won their case bro if you think anything different you're wrong when the southern district of New York come and get you they already got all the evidence and everything that they need and that's factual and what I believe is is that he has done enough over the years Remember, June 2011, the federal government went to another person who was being charged with federal crimes and asked them about Diddy having sex with underage boys and was offering that person, Queen for a Day, a proffer agreement. So we know that. So they've been having him under scrutiny for a very, very long time. He been doing things against the system, against people that they knew about. That's why I said I blame the government too for letting them go along, go, go, go that long. If they go to somebody in 2011. But my whole thing about it is, is this man, for the people don't understand, is that if there's one little boy under age, if there's one person that's been victimized by the hands of him or anybody else, justice is supposed to do what justice is supposed to do. 